Okay. Okay, so to start with uh, for our yoga routine, we're going to be really scientific about it. So we always want to assess and reassess what we're doing. Okay? Most important thing for a swimmer is to have a good streamline. So we assess our streamline. So if we come up into streamline position, just closing down the eyes and take three nice deep breaths. Just feel from the fingertips all the way down through the elbows and shoulders. Just how easy that is. Remembering it should be effortless. We want it to be without any sort of discomfort in the shoulders, any strain through the body. Good. From there, just take a little side bend to the left, elongating the right side of the body. Take a deep breath in to the side of the right ribs. And as you exhale, come on back up to streamline. And across to the right hand side, the same option. on back up, good. Releasing the hands back down, okay. So now working through our sun salutations, we start from having our hands in front of our heart, remembering we're focusing on our breath. Our breath is leading our movement, okay. So as we inhale, we lengthen, we bring the hands all the way up, looking up towards our fingertips. As we exhale, we swan dive down, so nice and long through the spine, and then we release the upper half of the body, Bring the abdomen onto the thighs. As we inhale, we come up to a flat back position. So the chest is tall, the back is nice and long, the hamstrings are opening. As we exhale, we step our feet back one at a time and come into our high plank position. We lower down athletic push up position, the elbows are by the side. And from here, we come into the little baby cobra position, this option one. The toes are pointing down. We're opening the collarbones and the shoulders, and the neck is nice and long. Good. From there, we press back. And coming back into our downward dog position. Remembering in downward dog, it's better to have soft knees and high hips, and a straight back, than rounding through your back with straight legs. So we really want to focus on lengthening through the side of the body and lengthening through the hamstrings. We're going to stay there for one more breath. So you're staying there for four breaths total. And with our next inhale, we look forward. We step the feet through one at a time. Come into that flat back position again. And then exhale, fold forward. Nice and easy through the upper half of the body. Inhale, sweep the hands up. Reaching up nice and high. And exhale, come back down. So we've got two more rounds of that, nice and smooth. Follow your breath, inhale, come up. Exhale, floating down. Inhale, flat back position. Exhale, stepping back, lowering down. Taking that first option or option two is coming up into an upward dog. We're pressing down through the tops of the feet. We're opening through the front of the shoulders and we're strong through the lower tummy. We're not Collapsing through our back, we're strong, pressing down nice and firm, and then we exhale, come back into our downward dog position. Again, staying there for three more breaths. Each inhale, I want you to think of the lengthening your spine, and each exhale, tilting the sitting bones up towards the sky, really elongating the body, focusing on the breath. Be strong through the hands. Next inhale, we look forward and we step, or you can jump. Come up to our flat back position. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the hands up. And exhale, back down. One more time again, just following your breath. Inhale. Exhale, forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step, or you can jump back, lower down, inhale up, exhale, back into downward dog, just holding for one breath this time. Again, stepping, or if you can, we jump through. Flat back, exhale, hold down, and 
in half, going all the way up, nice and long through the spine. And as we exhale, we come back down. But from here, we take our right leg and we're going to step back into a nice high lunge position. My hips are square towards the front of the mat, my hands are on my hips, my back heel is off the ground, and I'm nice and tall through the front and nice and strong and active through my abdomen and through my glutes. Sinking down into a position where I can feel a nice stretch. And I'm holding here for five breaths in total. And nice and strong. Again, sink deeper as you can. Always trying to breathe in and out through the nose. Nice and deep into the abdomen. From there, the next inhale, we take our weight in through our left leg, press and strengthen through that left hip as we press up into a balanced position. Okay, we're nice and tall, the hips at 90 degrees. And as we exhale, we come into our forward fold position or our arabesque position. Okay, we're balancing, we're trying to keep our hips nice and level. If you can't do that, having the toe touch down is okay. But we want to stay nice and long, nice and tall through the chest. Again, I'm not dropping down, I'm lengthening. Next inhale, come on back up. Exhale, stepping back down. Same on the other side, so the left leg steps up. All the way back, nice and tall. So each one of these we're holding for five breaths. Okay. As we come up into the balance positions, we're just going to hold for one breath. Just allowing our body to find that balanced position to get a nice smooth transition. So from there again, my weight comes forward, my back is still nice and long. I press up, balance for one breath, and then sweeping through again into that balanced position. Again, I'm nice and tall, nice and long through the back. Up and stepping back. Good. So that's option one. This is option two. If you can't do option two, then just go through option one again. But again, we're nice and tall through the body. This time we're going to interlace the fingers behind, roll the shoulders up and over, and extend the arms back. Okay, so we want to feel the sternum going forward, the shoulders opening. At the same time, we're still lengthening through the front of the hip. And again, we're holding this for five breaths. We're going to keep this position, okay? So the hands and the shoulders stay the same. Take our weight through our left leg. Press up. Balance for one breath. Good. Transition. Keep that balance. Transition back. And lower down. Again, the same on the left hand side, stepping through and back. Lengthening through the front of the body. Take the hands behind you, interlace the fingers, shoulders up and over. Notice that my neck is not poking too far forward. I'm long through my neck still. Open through the shoulders. Let's have one more breath. Again, the weight comes forward. We press up. Nice and athletically, nice and powerfully. Balance, get your stability. Transitioning. Stability. Again, coming up. And release. It's option two. Option three, taking the right leg, stepping back. Again, nice and high, nice and long through the front. You can take option one, option two. Option three is to take both hands up into streamline, so we're combining the hip opening with a nice streamline position, and then with a little side bend towards the left, just to bias this right side opening. Okay. Stay there for two more breaths. We're coming back to the neutral, bringing the weight forward and pressing up. Getting that balance. And then as we can, we want to lower down. Again, if this is challenging, we can 
have the back toe touching, or we can go into option one or option two. Last one, left hand side, stepping back. Again, nice wide lunge, hips facing forward. Taking the hands up and a little side bend to the right. Make sure you don't lose that stretch through the front. We're stretching there and then adding on. Back to the middle. Balancing. And down. Good. Again, back to the front of the mats. From here, we're going to take our right leg step back into what we call our triangle pose. So the hands are going to come up, back foot is at 90 degrees and our body is nice and upright as we inhale and we exhale, we reach forward with our left hand, take the left hand down to the shin or if it can, down to the bottom, but I suggest the shin first. Right hand up to the sky. If you can, look up to the fingers, otherwise looking forward or down towards the floor. You should feel a nice stretch through the inseam of the leg and also through this right side. No pain, remember. Again, we're staying here for five breaths. We're really working on our alignment to start with here. From there we bend the front knee, the forearm comes onto the thigh, we sweep our right hand through and elongate along the side of the body. So we're creating that nice straight line from the fingertips through the shoulder through the hip and all the way down to the outside border of the foot. Breathing into this space that we feel the restriction. Imagine that you're just reaching out to grab some water. Staying there for one more breath. From there we bring the legs stay the same. The right hand comes down to the back of the knee and the left hand reaches up into our reverse warrior position. And again, staying there for five breaths. So we're really focusing on our alignment with our first five breaths. Now we're going to run through the same process for three breaths. Really focusing on our transition. So we're coming down, reaching up. And again, three breaths here. Making sure the body stays nice and long. Bending the knee, sweeping that hand through. Really focus on how you move from one pose to the next. Coming back into our reverse warrior position. From here we're going to repeat those three poses three times, just with one breath in each position. Okay, so we're coming back. As we exhale, we come down and we inhale, take a nice deep breath. As we exhale, we bend the front knee, sweep the hand through, inhaling. Exhaling, transitioning back and inhaling. And again, two more times, we're lengthening as we exhale, inhaling, exhaling, transitioning through. Nice deep inhale, exhale, inhaling, last round. Sweeping through, inhaling, and last exhale, and inhale. Good. From there we windmill our hands around, we frame that front foot, square our chest, Step back and we lower down through and up into upward dog again. Exhale back into downward dog. Looking forward and stepping or jumping the feet through. Again up to that flat back position. All forward. Inhale. Going up. Good. Nearly finished just to the same on the left hand side, so we step the left leg back. Again, we're squaring our chest. We inhale our hands up, and as we exhale, we reach. 
the right hand down, the left hand up. Again, really focusing on alignment in this position. The front heel should bisect that back foot. And then we bend the front knee, sweep that left hand through, lengthening and opening. Really firmly pressing the feet into the mat, lifting that left armpit and opening. Press back, left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Don't press down onto your knee, just rest that left hand behind. Stay strong through the legs. Just really feeling into the pose, making sure that you're aware of where your body is in space. Same positions, back for three breaths this time. So, focusing on our transition. Good. Sweeping the left hand through, bending the knee. Again, reaching as if you're grabbing the water. Transitioning from stroke to stroke. Good. Coming back. Inhaling up. So three times through, one breath, inhale, lengthening, exhale, bending and sweeping through. Back into our reverse warrior. Good. And down two more times. that right hand, straightening the front knee as you come down, inhale, nice deep breath, exhale, reaching and lengthening, last pose, and as we exhale, we windmill those hands down again, frame the foot, and step back, lower down, inhaling up. Exhale, press back into downward dog. Just for one breath. Look forward again, step or jump through. Into your flat back position and then exhale forward. And from there, inhale, coming up into your streamlined position, closing the eyes again. Just taking three nice deep breaths. And feeling from the fingertips down through the shoulders and down to the hips, how that streamline feels.